We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's keep it out. <laughs> let's keep it out. I'm using the Tarot de la Nui deck. What do you need to know? This is clearly going to be a love reading. Hello, my name's Jen. I'm your human design oracle. I'm the creatrix of the Natural Enchantments Oracle. I provide readings. You can get there by going to naturalenchantmentsoracle.com or through the description below. What do you need to know regarding this love, this relationship? Eight of Pentacles. It's something that's going to take some work. That's what I'm getting. But usually Eight of Pentacles indicates like putting in the work means like you're going to get rewarded. Okay, so it's like you're going to attain your goal. Maybe some of the work for you right now is to work on your communication with this other person. Maybe for some of you, if you're currently in separation, that it's like you're meant to heal parts of yourself while in separation individually. And maybe they are healing parts of themselves. So that way, when it's the right time, you guys can come back together. Um, I'm just getting like, <clears throat> you're putting the work in. All right. Page of Cups, love offers, making its way into you. Um, okay, I just saw this scenario in my mind. Some of you are definitely waiting for love to come in, but some of you don't have like a person on your mind. Like you're just, you're just open. You want, you just want love to be coming in. You're busy, you're focused on the work that you're doing, on your career, on creating stability, security, a firm foundation in your life. While you are busy working, possibly even through the work that you do, you're gonna meet someone. You're going to meet someone. Take this as supplies, guys, okay? Because this is a collective reading. So not everything I say is going to you know, is going to like line up. Eight of cups. Do some of you need to walk away from something first in, in order to accept this? Yep, yep. Then we have here the justice. It's almost like you're cutting away because she's holding the swords here. It's almost like you're cutting away. You're cutting away a toxic connection or that word toxic, I feel like it's thrown around a lot. At the very least, an unhealthy connection. You're cutting away an unhealthy connection or just an attachment to someone and it's freeing you up to be able to receive this page of cups. I also look at this as like, because you are letting go of someone, like justice is just like another word for karma, right? Getting what you deserve. And I feel like it's like the universe is going to like deliver like a beautiful, beautiful connection to you. And it's, it, it's a reward. It's a reward for going through what you've been through and then being able to walk away from it because you realize you cannot be in an unhealthy situation anymore. 3.33 on the timer as I say that. Oh, that's like a sign for me. <laughs> Queen of Wands, hell fucking yeah, dude. Be in your abundant self. This Queen of Wands has her shit together. This Queen of Wands is the epitome of a glow up. You don't have to be a female, okay? Gender aside, because we all got feminine and masculine qualities within us, all right? So even if you're a guy, you being, you invoking your queen, inner queen, ah, uh, that's what's going to make you stand out. Like, I also look at this as because, like, I don't know, not that she has wings, but right, she's holding that part of the dress. I look at it as like, spread your wings. So it's almost like don't, when it comes to love and relationships, don't limit yourself. I mean it, don't limit yourself. If you, if you encounter someone who literally is kind of posing similar characteristics and aspects of like someone you recently were with and you walked away from, you got to consider that a red flag and you got to you got to skedaddle and and move into another direction, okay? Ooh. 
four of swords looking, li looking, listen, listen and look. It's going to take more time. It's going to take more time. She's laying there with the clock, kind of like wishing like, oh my God, is it my time yet? Can I, can I hurry up? And I get it. I get it. But there's still some healing that needs to happen. It's not the right time for the two of you to come together just yet. Almost. Almost. All right. I, I am getting like, ooh, time's up. So it's almost. But in this meantime, because Four of Swords is very much like a rest, a rest period, rejuvenation period. Nurture yourself right now. Nurture your business. Nurture any and all other aspects of your life. Go through the glow up because you will be rewarded. It's all in divine timing. All right. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.